We all pro exterior services here again with another. Uh, this is an annual roof job we do. Uh, it's at a commercial building. Uh, this is a Saturday, by the way, so we had to wait until Saturday to do this particular job because kids are in and out and everything else. So we're going to remove the debris, hit it with a uh, probably a 2%. It's the one we did last last time came out nice and they got gutter guards they added so we're not cleaning the gutters the building is not dirty so we're not going to spray the building so uh we're just going to be using that ar but anyway we're going to we're trying to get this debris down and we're going to attempt to walk on this roof but it's just you know being metal and a little it's right at this that point of too steep uh we got a section over here we could probably get up this one's not as steep, so we could blow all that off and all that. But we just got to go old school manual here, unfortunately. And then once Tony gets done with past this, I can start spraying. So I'm going to follow him with the spraying. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll get the footage here in a minute. Peace. Guys and girls, got most of it blown off. Tony's going to finish the rest while I start spraying so we can be efficient here. So we've been here right in an hour. Uh... And I got all kind of debris in my shoe, which I can't stand. So let's go ahead and take this uh, little quick shakedown. A little shakedown, baby. Everybody needs a shakedown. And I got the little giant out just, just to get me a little bit higher. Little giants are nice, but man, they're pain. They are heavy. You know, working around bleach. These things don't want to cooperate too good. So you got to keep lubing them up or something. I don't know, man. What we got here, we got some leakage going on. Where is that coming from? Let's see if we can die. Looks like it's coming. Uh, coming from the front. Well, oh, it's all good. Oh, it's coming from my gun. Oh, no, right here. A cheap ball valve we got. I need to replace that bad boy. No, oh, it's just water. Anyway, let me get rolling. Catch up. Peace. We'll go ahead and rinse it down. If you remember we did this last time, we uh we were using the uh what did we use? Oh the downstream and 12 volt. Which I'm not mad at the 12 volt. I gotta break the 12 volt out to save on some you see? That's another thing. A lot of this water is gonna get get this down, so you build your little stream, look at that, boom. Hitting the peak, no problems. Again, it's a little warm day. Supposed to get in the 80s today again. We've been having kooky weather. Which, that's what it is around us. Yeah, it's just rolling off all the, all the debris. I'm going to kind of blow it back, hit it again. They did put gutter guards on here, but unfortunately they chose the wrong ones. Uh, they chose the big screen gutter guard. And uh, it actually holds more stuff than it, than it, uh, than it, than it uh, blocks, you know what I mean? It's the big screen stuff, it ain't the fine screen. We got a lot of pine needles around here, so it really does no justice, honestly. But somebody sold them that. I didn't sell them that. We don't do gutter guards yet. I mean, I don't know that it will because you got to remember, man, they look at, if you put some gutter guards in and they don't work, that's your brand. They don't look at the gutter guard brand. So you got to be cognizant of that. And I, that's why I've been kind of sketchy about doing it because, uh, just, too sketchy, man. 
open that volume up, baby. The wind's picking up. We're trying to get most of the debris off. We did not walk this route. For those who are gonna ask, uh, and the reason we chose not to walk this roof is multiple reasons. Number one, it's a metal roof. Uh, number two, we got a lot of piling over, piling over here. And uh, that's, that makes it even worse. It's, it's gonna come out nice. Again, this ain't our first time doing it, so. We did put them on an annual because this is, a, uh, I think this is two years ago we did this roof. And I told them, I said, look, due to the debris and all the staining on the roof, we really ought to come out every annual, every year. Just like, of course, do it. We got five more jobs. I got called yesterday. We got to go quote. So life is good, blessed. All right, we're gonna start uh, shooting some SH. And when I when I do metal roofs, I always like to go over the roof a little bit in case you get any SH on that bad boy. You know, a lot of this you just need volume, like a lot of that water, just like a waterfall in the roof. Turn on some SH. Got my little remote. There you go, baby. We'll do a test spot and see. I'll show you guys. Sometimes we use that uh, that other ladder, the regular ladder, with the uh, stabilizer. I see a lot of guys on YouTube not using stabilizer, man. That, I tell you, that stabilizer does multiple things. It stabilizes the ladder, and it also kind of uh, secures the ladder. Alright, get that one done. Okay, we're gonna start rinsing this roof. It's getting a little warm out here. Let me go in rinse mode, folks. 
Oh yeah. Looks good. Good. Everybody. Got uh, this side, this side. Uh, let's see. All of this. And then we over here. Just hit all of this. And they got some heavy staining. I took some before and after pics before I even sprayed in the valleys. And it's, it just looks like rust. But let's see. Again, you know, what I say with, with metal. If you think you rinsed it good enough, I always rinse it again. I mean, you here already, you know? So we just finished this. And I met a cool cat from Virginia. He's in town visiting his mom. He's got a pressure washer in business. Cool dude. In fact, he wants me to do all his family's house. So I'm gonna get right here and I'm gonna hit the rest of this. I ain't doing the top. We already we agreed to that because I told him in a proposal, if you want the top done, it's going to be a man lift required. So, no gutters here. You got to be cognizant of that. So, we're just kind of rinsing it down. And I am using a 12 volt. I broke out the 12 volt because I'm at a 2, right about a 2% on this. You don't want to go too heavy on the metal. So, 2%, we found our sweet spot, and that, that, that's working. We're applying one coat in most cases and uh, coming right off. And this is the area she, she sits right here, the office uh, who woman who owns this joint and uh so we gotta make sure this is all good you know let's check this out oh yeah i'm just gonna give it a rinse again can't rinse too much so uh yeah it's all good and this ar is working really good because it's got enough volume to where it knocks it down you know what i mean like Instead of using a pressure washer carrying around that heavy hose, this has got the volume there. Kick in. And I could use this as a wash rinse mode, which I was going to do originally, but uh, the reason I, I changed it because of the volume. And, and I'm rinsing this side again because if we had any overspray, it'll get it again. We're not cleaning the house again. We're not, well, not the house, the business. We're just cleaning the uh, the building, the roof. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and move my 12 volt in the front here. Wash the rest of that front and catch that hip. Move to the back. And we'll be out of here. So we're going to go ahead and get up here and catch this little front side. Stabilizer working handy. You can see, you see the green? Nasty. So we're gonna spray as far as we can with the 12 volt. And then we'll move the ladder. So I'm gonna go. Over to that edge. Stand it up a little bit. All the way, a little kickback. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's just a bunch of grind. You see, I mean, it starts coming off right away with the bleach. Hey, 
Okay. Let it sit for a minute. Raise it off. Move to the next spot. The hardest part about this job is just moving everything with the angles and in the back we probably have to break out the 28 because we got a dip and uh yeah that's what life's about baby so while that's marinating i'm gonna go ahead and wash my plants down again we had a two percent so not too bad i already pre-wet them so note that one's there that wasn't me we up here now i'm gonna spray my wall down Look at it, it's coming right off. Just imagine, that's why they got that stain on. See it? Coming right off. Front done. Uh, let's see. We can see it from here. All the way on the other side of this building. All that. Or the whole side. All this. This. We got a little bit in the back, and then we wrap. All right, guys. We just uh, got a little debris on this end because we just working it as we go. That way we don't have to keep moving ladders. So we move the debris down. Let's show you this funky contraption over here. Gotta be creative. Uh, so. We already blew that off. Uh, so we just gotta hit that little bit of area. And then Tony, get that done, we'll be out of here. We're gonna hit this little section too. I'm gonna hit that one from the ground. So I'm pulling hoses real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'll probably go ahead and hit this one real quick. We'll let it marinate, that way he'll be doing something while he's doing that, cause you can see the debris. A little pole with a brush, baby. As Joe Deary would say, itchy. We don't have itchy. We got cream puff, it's a soft brush. Whoa, timber. So we'll blow that in the back, no big deal. This is a swampland area. You can see they probably got alligators, crocodiles, everything else. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling my hose, get it lined up and we'll roll. So you see I got my hoses ready to roll. I pull my AR first and then pull a 12 volt and spray it on. Catch up, hey. Got it all done. Like I said it took us about five hours. Pretty big project. Looks real good. Looks real, real good. We got a little overspray here, so I was just, you know, like I said, when I was hitting that back, I was overspraying a little bit. But yeah, it came out nice. Customer should be pleased. And uh, again, another annual. So we get it done. Just loading up now. It's a little late. It's about mm, 5:15. Got overcast. Five o'clock. Yeah, it's all good. All right, guys. That's about it for the vid. Please like, sub, call, comment. Peace.